Hi, you're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel and today using the Raspberry Pi as a USB MIDI host like this one. This was for a long time the cheapest USB MIDI host you could get. You need this for connecting um, keyboards which only have a USB MIDI connection to the standard 5-pin output. And uh, yeah, it's been discontinued, which is sad. Now every other option is quite expensive. Using the Raspberry Pi is quite cheap. This will set you back by around 30 bucks. So yeah, let's go. What you need for this project is just a Raspberry Pi. This is version three, but even the cheaper models will do. You'll also need this standard USB media interface. And I'll just add this power bank, and that's all we need for today. And this is the USB MIDI host I'm trying to replace. It was made by Hobbytronics UK, and it has been discontinued. It's a simple device, there's a power in, USB MIDI in, and a 5-pin MIDI in and out, and that's it. I'm using the Zoom Arc as a MIDI controller today. As you can see here, it only has a USB MIDI connector. I'll connect it to another synth using the Raspberry Pi in order to play back a sequence created on the Zoom on the other synth. Now I'm creating a short sequence on the Zoom Arc 96. First I set up a patch which will also send MIDI on channel 2 and then I'll enter a short step sequence which will play along and which will later um, be heard on the EX5. As our devices are connected now, boot the Raspberry Pi and set up your MIDI connection. Once the Pi is booted, open Terminal. First, make sure ALSA is installed. If you're running the standard Debian installation on your Pi, there's nothing you need to do. You can check this by running ALSA Mixer. If ALSA is not installed, type apt get install elsa and elsa utils and then press enter answer all questions with yes now enter a midi minus l to see a list of all midi devices connected to the pi then enter a connect minus i minus o to see a list of all audio devices take a closer look at that list there are device IDs written on the screen. In this example, the zoom is instance 0 of client 16, and the USB MIDI interface is instance 0 of client 20. Now, all you need to do is enter a connect 16020, and from now on, all your MIDI output gets routed from one device to the other. If you want this to happen every time the Raspberry Pi is booted, You'll need to edit the .profile file. Just add the link user has been a connect 16020 to the end of that file. Now this command will be issued on every startup. And that's it. A very quick hack which might save you some cash. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. And if you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, there are lots and lots of other synth-related videos on there. And as always, thanks for watching and see you next week. Bye-bye.